Um, this is a medallion, and it's pretty bendy. <laughs> so we're gluing down medallions right next to storm drains. Little triangles that say no dumping drains to waterways. Because um, if it's like trash and stuff, it just goes into the sea and things eat it and then die. It would also change um, like um, the food chains of other animals and stuff. What else are you doing? We made these gigantic posters that are on our desk. Some of them say, save the salmon, save the orcas. We took a picture and gave the picture to King County government and they posted it on their Orca Facebook page. And we are helping them making a storm drain map uh, around Vashon. And many people, um, most of the people in our class have um, different areas. We had a field trip to Moran Marine Park and there we mulched, so um, we like those baby trees planted. And so we had to get mulch and put it around them. We also looked at um, how hard it is for the salmon to get through culverts. We wrote about uh, all of the or like different orcas in their pod. The editor from the Beachcomber got to come see us. That was really fun. Uh... Why do you think kids should be involved in this? Because if they help, then it will inspire other adults or other kids to help. Have people really think about orcas and salmon and what they need to have. I saw the new baby calf swimming with a mother the, um, the other day, and it was really interesting to watch. And if they, if they when it, it like, gone forever. I like cry in my bed every day after Thule. Cause, Cause we don't want them going extinct. Don't you want us to just play that whole thing again? <laughs> Is it so precious? <laughs> okay, those pictures the kids drew, they also have QR codes that people can scan, which play audio files of the kids talking about salmon and orcas. We're gonna post that so you can see it. <laughs>